The video pulls out of I made custody battle with Sophia Mamadou and slams her for disrespecting memory of late son. In a dramatic twist, the video has unleashed its fury in response to Sophia Mamadou's lengthy 102 paragraph counter affidavit regarding their heated child custody battle. Sophia Davidou's baby mama threw multiple jobs, presenting more than two compelling reasons why the court should deny the single custody of their daughter, Aimee. Shockingly, she dragged up the heartbreaking death of Chema's son, Ifani, as a key argument against the reduced parenting. This low blow didn't sit well with Obiyo Krona, who lashed out firstly, condemning her for reopening the wounds of his family's tragic loss. The Afrobeat sensation Davido, born David Adeleke, has unleashed the first counterattack against his baby mama, Sophie Mamadou's audacious claim that he is vying for full custody of their daughter, Aimeet Adeleke. Sophia Mamadou audacious claims that he is vying for full custody of their daughter, Aimeet Adeleke. The custody saga reached favor pitch when Sophia, in a jaw-dropping legal maneuver, unleashed a massive 102-paragraph counter affidavit. Her Eli's legal squad, led by Antonio Idibe, son of Punoka Tony and Dr. Bingpe Ajegbomogun, crafted this document, imploring the court to thwart the video's custody aspirations. Chef and model ambassador the video's controversial lifestyle, alleging it will subject their daughter Aime to emotional turmoil at such a young age. She also cast doubt on the stability of Aime's upbringing under him due to Davido's recent marriage to Choma. To further her argument, Sophia pointed to the heartbreaking loss of Davido's son, Ifanye, as yet another example of his perceived questionable parenting capabilities. The video, a no holds barred response to Sophia Mamadou, took his official ex platform to set the record straight. He clarified that they never sought full custody of their daughter, I made only joint custody, but he is being vilified and misrepresented by Sophia and her adding supporters. Firing back with palpable frustration. Firing back with palpable frustration. Davido slammed Sophia for relentless use of the tragic death of a son, Ifai, as a weapon against him. He berated her for exploiting this deeply personal tragedy which haunts him and his wife, Choma, every single day. Sophia's repeated references to Ifai's passing are, according to Davido, a cruel and necessary reminder of their unimaginable loss. David made it unequivocally clear that his battle is driven by a deep desire to secure Aimee's well-being and future. He asserted with unwavering conviction that as she grows older, Aimee will come to understand this tireless effort and see through the web of manipulation spawned by her. His words, and I quote, You are constantly bringing up the death of my child at any point you can to just remind us of this tragedy that haunts us every day of our lives. Aimee will grow up to see I fought for her. As for now, you can have her. P.S. She won't be a child forever. Enjoy Aimee. Aurora. I asked, all I asked for was a joint custody, but cause is Davido, you are one to act like you are can't reach. Shaking my damn off this, you'll be blessed and I pray this never happens to you. Now, let me say this. Um, well, I don't know, it's a joint custody. Sincerely, it's a joint custody. Nobody's saying she asks, he asks for full custody, okay? It's a joint custody for crying out loud. Eh? I um I'm sorry to say it, but Sophia cannot be a mother and father to the child, as most especially when the father is alive and eager to be part of her life. See, I don't care the, the chemistry or the physics or the um what's it called advanced physics they had before. I don't care the biology they had before. I don't care. What should be the primary primary um what's it called? Goal of both Davido and Sophia is to make sure Sophia provides a motherly atmosphere for the child and Davido provide the father. They're living in the same state for goodness sakes. They're living in the same state. So what is keeping it? Fine, if you want, oh, this one should happen. That one should happen in the custody of your nanny must be there. Fine, no voila. No problem. It is joint custody. He's not asking for full custody. How could he possibly ask for full custody? If he's asking for full custody, I'm not going to be this calm. It is not possible he gets full custody at this time. The child is even familiar with the mom now, so it is not even possible. And we have not heard from anywhere that Emily is not well being taken care of. 
My own is that two of them should drop their pride aside. Both of them are wrong. They should look for a way for the fact that they have not found a way around it. So me, both of them are wrong. I don't even want to hear is it this one's fault, is it this one's fault. Because for law of, or for court of law, they're not going one year it is this one's fault, it is this one's fault. They will say you people should find the way around it. In fact, they will even frighten to take away the child away. I am telling you, or to throw their this thing out of the court. Come on now. Eh? It is very wrong and brutal for a child that has a mother to stay without a mother, to grow up without his mother when the mother is very much alive. Uh, it is the worst thing that can happen to most especially when the mother wants to be in the life of the child and in the same vein it is very wrong very very wrong that a child it's not that this person is irresponsible i mean when i say irresponsible it's not that this father is dangerous but he's being denied the uh, what's it called the possibility of being in the child of, i mean in the life of his child you know you know dear you know guys could be me papa no fit train there's nothing you will tell me you would think it's it's good to actually raise a child as a single parent. It's not. The effects are there. You cannot. Yes, you will tell me that eh, sometimes it does not guarantee. But you do your best. Two of them are in the same state. Two of them are can take care of this person together. Nobody is even saying. I can. I mean, I'm even suggesting. You can say okay. From uh, what's the call? You can say okay. Saturday, Sunday, your nanny will take care of this person. Will be in your house. You understand? I, I, there's a way they can work things around. That is my own. I know this matter no need this thing. This is a joint custody. They can come and say, okay, Monday to Friday, eh, from school, fr I may be made to go, and you know, you or you, you go, make sure, say, I may go, to keep her for where in Papa goes, go carry and go. And maybe your nanny go go. If you want to assist your nanny go, then there's no problem. You understand? You instruct your nanny, oh, watch out for her, look out for her. While I know they, you understand? Your nanny can now give you feedback when she gets home that, oh, bye, 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 lo sherry. To me, it is, this is unneeded. Like I say, I will repeat, for people who are eager to be in their father's, uh, when their child's life, and uh, both parties are responsible, you understand? Both parties are responsible. They're not irresponsible. They're not dangerous criminals, okay? They're not those kind of people. I don't see the reason why the mother should raise the child single-handedly or the father should read the child saying godly. That is not even fair to the child. Make I can't tell the truth. That is not fair to that child. That child will grow up and he gets as he go big or resent one of the parents who did, whether I like it or not. All right? Whether I like it or not, he go resent the parents. It's not going to be, it's not going to be what he wants to tell the child. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come you'll be next time.